Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little heart bubble square. I made a border around it uh, so that it is it will be easier to crochet the pieces together afterwards. Today I'm going to use a merino superwash merino yarn. And now since my hook wants to go to the bubbles, what I want to say is I, uh, the bubbles are usually made with five dou double crochet together and I'm making them with four double crochet together. So as you can see, it's still uh, the bubbles are still uh, bubbles. <laughs> they pop, but um, here I have an example where I crocheted it the uh, usual way with five double crochet together stitches and it pops more of course it looks a little bit different as well in my opinion i don't know if you can see it these are flatter of course but um yeah it's up to you uh what you want these are a little bit more comfortable for me to crochet that's one of the reasons why i changed it and i thought why well, I, I could try it out you know four or five what's the big di uh, maybe it's not that big of a difference and yeah, I, I'm I'm okay with this, to be honest. So, did I mention the yarn? I think yes. And I will use a 4 millimeter hook. And you will need approximately 7 grams if you should also use a merino in DK weight. Okay, now, loosely chain 16 stitches. because you're going to work into these stitches again when we are making the border and it will be easier to get into the stitch. So when you have your 16 stitches, I will meet you back here. Now we are going to work a single crochet into the second stitch, but into the back bumps. So we have your stitch number one, two, and we are going to carefully turn this chain over and we are going to work our first single crochet into the second bump. We have here two bumps, one, two. This one sometimes, um, especially if you should t pull tight here, this one can sometimes on almost be invisible. So make sure you go into the, really into the second one so that you don't have your a wrong stitch count in the end and you will do this all the way across one single crochet in each bump and when you're there I will meet you at the end of the row. You should now have 15 stitches. Now when you're at the end of the row you are going to chain one and then turn and now work your first single crochet into the first stitch and work one single crochet into each stitch all the way across and I will meet you back in row three. So I already chained one, now I'm turning. Um, this is the row where the first bubble will be made and it will be made in the very middle. So now we are going to work seven single crochets until we reach the place. Okay, let's see. That's six. One more. And you can double check, we have to have seven stitches in the end as well. Seven, yes, so one middle stitch. And now for the bubble, I'm going to make a double crochet four together. As I said before, wrap your yarn around your hook and insert your hook into the next space. Grab your yarn and now pull through two loops. This is the first one and you have two loops. So one double crochet makes you have 
uh, one incomplete, I should say, one incomplete double crochet leaves you with two hoop loops on the hook. So the next one in the same spot, so two, and this will also stay incomplete. The next one. And another one and this is also how you know how many you have done without even having to count I have five loops on the hook I know now that four of these are my incomplete double crochet and I'm ready now to um, pull my yarn through all of them if you want to uh, do a bigger bubble as I said you can continue this process until you are satisfied but for me this is enough now now the next stitch is a single crochet again and i'm working this one sometimes a little bit tighter to make sure that the bubble really pops but it pops uh, nevertheless so if you make a single crochet after a bubble it will always immediately pop so now single crochet se uh, seven single crochet again and the next row will be single crochets in every stitch so you will have 15 single crochets and I think I don't have to show you this because you can do this and we will meet each other at the next uh, row for the bubbles which will be row 5. After row 4 it should look like this. And now row five, we are going to crochet five single crochet, a bubble, three single crochet, bubble, and then five single crochet again. So let's just begin. One more and now a bubble again go through all now three single crochet one well this one got a little bit loose but i will leave it like this two and three and now you can also double check again because sometimes it just happens you know you you are not on the right spot or something so one two three four five and we have one left for the bubble uh, because it uh, as you know the heart is very symmetrical both sides have to be the same it has to be the same number of stitches from both sides that's what I wanted to say okay I think uh, you can do this <laughs> because it's really not easy on camera. So I will finish my bubble and then as you can see five single crochet. After that uh, we have an even row again. Row, row six will be single crochet into every stitch across and we will meet back each other in row seven. So row six is completed. Now row seven. Um, this time it's uh, three single crochet, one bubble, seven single crochet, one bubble, and then three single crochet again. So let's do it. Maybe I should come closer or something that I can see the stitches better. So we have three single crochet and then one bubble the pulling through of the yarn is really difficult on camera <laughs> it's 
it's not too easy as well without the camera for me. <laughs> I always have to do this quite slowly or most of the time. So we have five loops again. Going through. What did I say? Seven, right? I already recorded this <laughs> and I accidentally said five, but it's seven, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. Double check, we have four stitches left, one for the bubble, three for the single crochets, everything is okay. <laughs> I'm saying this because sometimes things happen, you know, I, I uh, know this pattern by heart, yes, but uh, <laughs> sometimes I still miss a stitch or um, I have one fail, for example, on camera uh, where I accidentally used two stitches for the bubble and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> and then I was wondering why do I not have enough stitches in the end? And I thought I had made a different mistake. I really didn't see it even uh, while I was filming it. So things can happen. And then you have the wrong stitch number. And also if you crochet the even rows where you um, crochet only single crochet stitches, what can happen is that you accidentally, for example, miss a stitch. This one is quite small, right? I'm someone I always have to look at my crochet but there are people you know if you don't look at your crochet you go in here and then in here and then swoop you have one stitch less <laughs> things like that happen uh, easy in crochet I have the impression so now we're um, at row eight and this is single crochet all the way across again and we will meet each other in row nine so this is what it looks like. Now row nine, I have already chained. Two single crochet, one bubble, nine single crochet, one bubble, and then two single crochet again. That's the plan. Let's see. <laughs> okay, one bubble. I might uh, make this faster because I think it's quite boring for you to watch me do all these stitches so I might fasten a little bit the nine single crochets let's say so bubble now nine single crochet one eight and nine and here we have three single crochets left everything is okay one bubble and two single crochet and i think you can do this yourself and then the even rows again just single crochet across and we will meet each other in row 11. after row 10 it looks like this i have already chained one so now we are going to Aya I'll show you from this side this time uh, again two single crochet the next uh, bubbles will be uh, on top of these two and then one in the middle so two single crochet again and then one bubble And I might speed up the bubble. After the bubble, you will crochet four single crochet, but I will uh, make the bubble first, of course. So, one. 
two, three, and four. And now we should have seven stitches left after the bubble. So one stitch for the bubble and then seven stitches. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's correct. So the bubble is exactly in the middle again, just as the very first one that I that we made. After the bubble, you will work four single crochet again. And then you will make the next bubble. Okay, I will show you this. We have the bubble, as you can see, this is always bigger for a single crochet. We have three left, that's correct. Now we are making a bubble again and then two single crochet and as always the even rows. I will finish this off camera. Again one single crochet into each stitch across and I will meet you back in row 13. This is what it looks like so far. Now row 13. We are going to place two bubbles in between these and two bubbles in between these and it will be done by uh, three single crochet first so three single crochet and then one bubble Now one single crochet and the bubble. Now three single crochet. And let's check. Uh, the next one will be a bubble again. One bubble, one single crochet, one bubble and three stitches left. That's correct. So go ahead and make your bubble. One single crochet bubble. One single crochet, bubble, okay. Now we have three single crochet left and I will give you the information for the next two rows. One moment. Okay. So the next row is of course again single crochet only and then you will make a final row which will be row 15. Uh, back to this side and this will be also single crochet only and after that we are going to make the border i will meet you back then so after row 15 um, if you don't want to make a border you're already finished so you can finish off 
um, but I will make a border around this and for this I'm going to chain one turn and now I will place three single crochet into the very first stitch which will be our corner and then I will work one single crochet into each stitch until the uh, very last stitch and three single crochet into the very last stitch. I will meet you at this corner. Now I wanted to say real quick we have made three single crochets here. I will call this the corner. Um, between the corners I will, you will have 13, 1, 2, that's 10, 13 uh, stitches, single crochet stitches. Now there is one stitch left and we're going to work the second corner here. And then things might, will get a little bit different. Because we're going to crochet down the edge, of course. I think I'm going to get this a little bit closer now. Oh yes, ah, I forgot to get this a little bit closer. That's why. <laughs> oh, okay. So now, as you can see, we have spaces here. Every row creates one space where you can insert your hook, but the chain stitches create a space as well. So we have worked 15 rows, but we have 16 places to uh, um, insert our hooks. Um, but because this square is not really a square, it's a little bit of a rectangle, it's wider than it is high. Um, so the problem is 15 stitches even are already a little bit too many for this side, but we will go with 15. Uh, but we will have to make sure that we don't end up with 16 because we have 16 spaces here. So um, I'm going to decrease uh, by skipping one of them. And the best way for I think to do this is um, right before the chain stitch because the holes here or the spaces are closer to each other than the other holes. So this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to show you this to you. So as you can see we have here the corner stitch and now one single crochet into every space until we are at the bottom almost and then I will uh, show you and I will show you this completely now so that you can see where I'm inserting my hook it's always in every row creates just a little hole here and this is why this is where I'm inserting my hook I don't know, I think there are possibly a lot of other ways to do this, but that's how I'm doing it, especially uh, since this is the same color yarn, as you can see, it looks quite neat. If I would do this with a different color, it would not look too good. That's uh, also something I have tried out. Um, so we are almost there. Yeah, almost. And again, you can check, of course, uh, you can see here we have the three corner stitches and it has to be 13 stitches then down the side before the corner. So let's count. Yeah, I have five, five, 13. Oh, uh, yes. See, I have already 13 and now I will skip the second to last space and this is this one and I'm going directly underneath two legs of the chain stitch of the original chain stitch and I'm going to um, work three single crochets into this stitch. So this is the next corner and now because we have um, worked into our back bumps, it's quite easy to see where we have to insert our hooks. 
now it's 13 single crochet again and I will meet you at the last stitch here. So three single crochet into this very last stitch, uh, chain stitch. This is a little bit, I think I crocheted this a little bit too tight, but it's okay. One. and three now as you can see the next space is this one and this looks as if it's really should not be skipped but we will skip this one and we will go directly into the next one so that we end up with uh, the 13 stitches between the corners again And the process is exactly the same. I will meet you back at the end and show you how to finish off. I will show you the last stitch because it's not sometimes not too visible. So this is the second to last space before the corner. And this is the last space before the uh, first corner that we made. So there has to be one more stitch. And now as I said, between the corners you have 13 stitches, but if you want to count only one corner stitch, so instead of these three, you count only this one as a corner stitch, um, then you will have 15 stitches between the corner stitches. So now we are ready to um, finish off and I forget my, forgot my materials, so I'm back in a second. So I'm going to uh, finish off with an inv invisible join. You can finish off any way you like. Um, and the invisible join will possibly not be too invisible at the corners. It's a little bit more difficult to do this in the corners, but uh, since these are going to be crocheted together anyway, or sewn together the squares, um, I think it doesn't matter too much. So I'm going to thread it, the yarn to my tapestry needle. Now we have here this small one is the first stitch. This is the one we are going to duplicate. And so we are going to insert our needle into the, under both legs of the second stitch and pull it through. And now we are going to go back into the stitch our yarn tail came out of and grab one or two strands and pull through. And as you can see, this looks really a little bit weird. But this is, um, it depends. Some situations are a little bit better. Today I I have a situation that's a little bit, as you can see, there is something happening here, but it doesn't matter too much. As you can see, it's it's okay still. So, and what I saw on Instagram, what someone did is um, what makes things look, look a little bit neater is to go back at the back here somewhere into the stitch, uh, grab a strand, this is not too easy again <laughs> on camera. So this is your invisible join. And now you can weave in your yarn tail somewhere here maybe. But um, here in this case, if you work your yarn tail into the very um, top um, instead of here for example it, it would be better somewhere here I think because you will uh, probably work the stitches again when you crochet them together so make sure if you work your yarn tail in here if you uh, that, that you don't um, accidentally um, make it uh, harder for you to get into the stitch 
afterwards so this was the square this is the square so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i really hope that you will enjoy making these squares as much as i do i really love them and i have a lot of ideas what i can do with it i have made a few bags already but there's so much more that you can do because they are so small you could do a cardigan make a cardigan or a headband and there are really a lot of possibilities here so i really hope you have fun thanks so much for watching until next time bye